Hey everyone, sorry I'm a little late here on Facebook Live. I told everyone eight o'clock and it is probably close to 8.20, but got out of the clinic late, uh, so I apologize about that. But got a big topic today, one I hear a lot about, I get questions on all the time, and that is shoulder issues and whether you need shoulder surgery or should you opt for conservative treatment? What are some options for conservative treatment? So these are, uh, this can be definitely impact your life if shoulder issues are something you're dealing with. Um, so if you find this beneficial, feel free to share with uh, others and feel free to give it a, give it a like if, if this is something that you're dealing with. So um, if you're dealing with a, uh, shoulder issue, don't hesitate to reach out to me if you have specific questions. These are all going to be pretty generalized as far as what we're going over. Hey, Katie, how's it going? Thanks for joining. Hope your, uh, hope your ankle's feeling, feeling better. Saw that, saw your post earlier. So, um, so yeah, so going over the shoulder, um, you know, this is definitely not something easy. And one thing you need to keep in mind with shoulder issues and when it comes to surgery is that there isn't any guarantee that surgery is going to fix you. Surgery is not a guaranteed uh, guaranteed fix. And some people think it is. And some people then end up coming out of surgery and they're feeling worse than they were before. Now, surgery, there there is absolutely um, a time and a place for it. And so what I hope that you find with this is that you're going to determine or, or recognize, you know, is surgery appropriate or is it maybe not? So... When looking and determining it with shoulder issues and really with any injury or any type of pain, something you should look at is, was there any trauma to the joint or was it atraumatic? Was there not any trauma involved? So if there was trauma involved, um, then it's more likely that you could need uh, shoulder surgery. Um, one such instance is if you have a, what's called a bank art lesion. Um, if there was trauma involved and then you have unidirectional instability, meaning there's it's unstable in one direction, then you're looking at uh, likely surgery for that. If there wasn't any trauma involved and it just gradually came on over time and it just cl clicks and pops a little bit and um, it might be a little unstable, you know, likely that can be treated with conservative care and through um, through exercise, through, through rehabilitation, through physical therapy, that likely can help take care of that, those, uh, those type of issues. So same thing, um, in regards to a rotator cuff tear, uh, if rotator cuff tears, especially in older individuals. So if you're getting, if you're over 50 and you know, your shoulder's been bugging you a while, there wasn't any trauma involved and you go and have an MRI, I mean, there's a good chance that there's going to be a rotator cuff tear involved. And, but what they found is in the research coming out that even full thickness rotator cuff tears have been treated successfully with physical therapy and that physical therapy um, likely has the same outcomes as surgery with some of these rotator cuff tears. So what does that mean? That means don't necessarily go underneath uh, under the knife and start messing around if you don't have to. Go see a physical therapist, do rehab, put in your time beforehand. Don't expect a quick fix though. I mean, if you have been having shoulder issues for years, it's not going to get better overnight. It's gonna take time. It's gonna take the guidance of a professional to help you out with that. Um, so, you know, one thing uh, as far as instability goes, this relates to really anything in the body, but the more, if you do have an injury and instability, if you dislocate your shoulder and you continuously dislocate your shoulder, the more you do that, the more frequently it is likely to happen. And yeah, with that, you're, you can treat with conservatively initially, but likely on down the road, you probably will need some type of uh, surgery. Um, and that's, again, that's if you're repeatedly dislocating a shoulder or repeatedly injuring it. So the greatest risk for any injury is a previous injury. So, and that goes for anything, shoulder, hip, knees, ankles. Um, 
but the shoulder is a very complex joint and needs to be taken seriously. You need to definitely put in, in the time if you're going to be doing those conservative measures. So, um, so, you know, what is better, Eric? Should I do conservative care? Should I go through rehab or should I go straight to surgery? A lot of times they, with the research, what they're showing is that conservative care is just as good as surgery. So are you going to completely avoid surgery? You know, not all the time, but putting in the time beforehand will also lead, lead to better outcomes afterwards if you uh, end up opting towards surgery. So your outcomes with surgery will be better even if you did the physical therapy before. So it's not a waste of time. So don't just think, oh, well, I know my shoulder, it's not getting any better. This has been happening for years. Well, if you haven't tried some conservative measures, then this is definitely something that you're gonna wanna look into rather than just going um, straight under the, uh, under the knife. So again, shoulder injuries, something I see all the time. Um, recently had a patient come to me and we're hoping to avoid surgery with her. So she, uh, th this is a pretty good example of not necessarily of maybe not finding the, the person that's right for you to help treat your problems. So this uh, person is a CrossFitter. She went and saw a physical therapist for some shoulder issues she'd been dealing with for a year now. <laughs> and he didn't like CrossFit and they did the same things every single time for two weeks. She really didn't know some improvement. So she uh, ended up dealing with it for a little bit, got talked to a surgeon. He was going to do surgery, got some more opinions, and everyone's telling her, you know, maybe you should just go and find someone else. So um, she's definitely one who I think kind of found the wrong person initially, someone who doesn't really speak her language. So make sure that your physical therapist or your provider, um, including surgeon, physician, they speak your language. So, um, meaning if you do CrossFit, they understand you and they know where you're coming from. If you're a runner, they understand you and they know where you're coming from and they know what it's going to take to get back to that and what that lifestyle entails. Um, being active is a great thing. So don't, uh, don't just accept just because one person tells you that it's bad for you, that that's the case. So uh, with this person in particular, you know, do you get shoulder injuries in CrossFit? Yeah, your shoulders are at risk for injury. However, if you take the right steps needed uh, with taking care of your body and addressing the impairments needed, then you can likely um, get back to doing what you love and doing it pain-free. Um, so if you found this beneficial, thanks so much for watching, uh, Courtney and Efron. Um, if you found this beneficial, please give it a like, uh, love it, and share it with someone that you think that if they're about to undergo shoulder surgery or they're thinking about it and thinking, well, what are my options? Um, there are a lot of options out there. Now I only hit on a couple, you know, there are other things such as, do you need injections? Are injections beneficial? You got frozen shoulder. Do you need surgery for that? Um, a lot can go into that. And so if you have specific questions, definitely message me. Don't hesitate on that. I'm more than happy to take the time to answer your specific questions. Or if you want to leave them in the comments below, I can always answer it that way too. So that's kind of my little lecture on shoulder uh, shoulder issues and whether you should go with conservative care, including physical therapy, or should you get shoulder surgery. Not everyone's, uh, you know, the results really when, the, when it comes down to it with the research, what they're showing, um, depending on the issue going on, but conservative care and surgery have the same results when it comes to things like, uh, things like rotator cuff tears that are atraumatic and coming on. So, um, talk with someone who knows what they're talking about. Don't just, you know, use Dr. Google and thanks so much for tuning in again. I will let you guys get back to your Monday night. I know my fiance is watching the bachelor. So, I usually get dragged into that. Um, I usually laugh at that garbage TV and then she gets mad at me for laughing because they're on it to, uh, to find real love. So I hope you find real love with this, uh, <laughs> this talk and this lecture and that um, it helps you. So you guys have a great night. Thanks so much for watching.